Good morning and welcome to Year 4 Maths with me, Miss Dowley. So let's start by writing the short date and underlining and the learning objective. I know what a fraction is and can find fractions of shapes and amounts and underlining. So our first activity is can you draw sharing circles to show the fractions of amounts below? So we've got a quarter of eight equals two. Um, we have a third of nine equals three, half of four equals two, and a quarter of 20 equals five. Have a try now. Pause this whilst you have a go. So I hope you got on okay with that activity. So today we're going to look at fractions of a shape. So below is a pizza. And we can see the whole pizza to start with. We can see that it has been shared into two equal pieces or halved. And we write half as this. So it's a one with a line and a two underneath. And if you remember the two means we've shared it into two parts. So here we can see one half of the pizza. These whole shapes have been cut in half. Can you colour in half of each shape? Pause whilst you have a try. Okay, so let's have a very quick look then. So to have them coloured in, we would have this bit here possibly, or the other half. We might look at this half. We might colour in this half, this half, this half and this half. Does yours look a bit like that? Probably a lot neater than mine. So we can also divide shapes into quarters. So the pizza below has been shared or divided into four equal parts. And we write one piece as a quarter. Again, that is a one with a line and a four underneath. And the four means we have shared it into four parts, four equal parts. When we share an item into four equal parts, each part is one quarter or a quarter like this. So these shapes have been divided into quarters. Can you colour in a quarter of each shape? You have a try now. OK, let's have a quick look together. Now, again, my colouring is not very neat on here, I have to say. So I'm going to do one quarter. So I'm going to do this bit and this bit. And this bit, and this bit. So again, I'm just picking one of the four parts on each. So it doesn't matter which section you coloured in, as long as you've only coloured in one on each, and that will be a quarter. So the pizza below has been divided into quarters or four parts. And when we divide into quarters, we are dividing into four. So this um, activity, can you quarter or divide the shapes below into four? Remember, they must all be equal. Pause whilst you have a try. So let's have a go. So I'm going to have a try with this. So I'm going to do, here's my half. And now it's into four. So I'm going to halve it first, straight down the middle, and then I'm going to do half again so that I've got four parts. Remember, a quarter is four parts and they must be equal. So let's have a look straight down the middle that way, straight across the middle that way, and I've got four parts. OK, so I'm going to go straight down the middle here and straight across the middle here. Now this one's a bit trickier. How did you get on with this one? So I'm gonna go straight down the middle here to give me two equal halves and straight across the middle there. Okay, so you can see that all of my shapes have got four parts. They are divided into four quarters. So we can also divide shapes into three equal parts and each part is called a third or again, we can see the number here for a third. 
The pizza below has been shared or divided into three parts. And one part is written as a third and it's a one on the top with a line and then a three underneath. So can you color each of the shapes, a third of each of these shapes? You can see that they have been divided into three equal parts and you're being asked to color a third. Have a try now. Okay, so let's have a go together. And again, my coloring's a bit wonky. So I'm going to do one part here of the three. Do one part here of the three. I'm going to do one part here of the three. One part here of the three. And one part here of the three. So I have colored in a third of each of the shapes. How did you do? So when we write a fraction as a number, it has a number on the top of the line, here's the one, and a number below. The number on the top is called a numerator. This tells us how many of the parts we need. So for this one, we need one part. So here we can see the one and the numerator. The number on the bottom is called a denominator. This tells us how many parts the shape or amount is made up of. So remember, we're talking about a whole being divided into parts. So here we want the whole divided into four. Here we want the whole divided into three. And here we want the whole divided into two. So we can see here, with half, it's been split into two parts, and this shows us one part, one half. A quarter, this is split into four parts, and we just want one of those parts, which is a quarter, one over four. And this is a third, and it's split into three parts, and here we can just see one part, which is a third, one over three. One part of the three parts. So we've looked at unit fractions. Unit fractions are fractions which have one on the top or a numerator of one. So all of these here are unit fractions. So with a unit fraction, we are looking for one of the parts it has been shared into. So can you color in the fraction for each of the shapes below? So pause whilst you have a try. Okay, so this one is a quarter, so I would just colour in one section of the four. This one is half, so I would colour in half of the shape. This one is a quarter, so I'm going to colour in one quarter of the shape. And this one is a third, so again I'm going to colour in one third of the three parts. So let's look at when we want more than one part. So below the circle has been cut into quarters, so there are four pieces, but three of them have been colored in. So we write this as three quarters because we have three of the four parts. So we've got the three on the top, which tells us how many of the parts we want the four tells us how many parts there are. There are four parts and we want three of them. So we would write this as three quarters. Can you color in three quarters of each of these shapes? Pause whilst you have a try. Okay, let's have a quick go together. So three quarters, there are four parts. I want three of them. So I'm going to color in and then very quickly color those in. So there's this one. Again, I want three parts, so three quarters. So I'm coloring in three sections. Your coloring will be a lot neater than mine. And again, I want three quarters. So I am coloring in three of the four parts. I hope yours look like mine, a lot neater though. Okay, so this one is over to you. 
Can you colour the fractions of each shape? Pause whilst you have a try. And again, just a reminder, if you want some more practice on fractions, try the Oak Academy, the website is here, or try BBC Bite Size, and the website is here. Thank you.